Plarium just announced some new blessings coming into the game, and I think that there's some interesting stuff to talk about that pertains to them. I think there's some good and some bad here, so I just wanted to go through and take a look at them, uh, speculate a little bit about them, and then again talk about an issue that I, I kind of think surrounds some of them. So uh, let's let's jump into the first one here, Nature's Bounty. Whenever this champion applies a debuff, has a chance to place a greater version of the debuff. So the small resistance becomes the big decreased resistance, right? Uh, it doesn't apply to debuffs placed by gear sets. That aggravates me a little bit because I was just talking the other day about the Toxic set. I think Toxic set is long overdue for being a 5% poison. I think if it's going to be a 2.5% poison, it should be a 2 set. I think if you're dedicating 4 of your gear spots, if you're passing on every other 4 set in the game for the sake of poisons, you should be getting 5% poisons. Um, so it's kind of annoying this doesn't apply to that, and I don't know that I think that would be a solution to it anyway, to be honest. Uh, I personally have never been a really big fan of the smaller and stronger buffs and debuffs. I'm not really into that. I kind of think a champion should either have the effect or not have the effect. Uh, not to say I never think there's a place for it or that I think it's wrong. I just personally am not a fan of it. Um, but I, I mean, you know, I, I guess I see where it has its place. And this introduces some interesting stuff into the game. It, it, apply, it applies only to debuffs, which is interesting. And it... it Raises some interesting questions, I reckon. Um, it, it, it potentially brings some champs into viability. Now, I am a little aggravated that a six-star blessing isn't 100% chance. I think, personally, if you get a six-star soul for a champ that you're using this on, it should just upgrade the debuff, and it, it should be like a permanent upgrade to their kit. You know what I mean? I, I think it should be 100%. I think that's silly, to get a six star blessing on someone and not just have it make my two and a half percent poison a five percent poison, for example. I, uh, but other than that, I think it's pretty cool. I think it's a pretty cool blessing. I, I think it's going to make, I don't know, like, poison sensitivity is, 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 is an interesting one, actually. Um, cause I think, I think there is a 50% poison sensitivity in the game, technically, right? But no one places it. So that could be that could be kind of wild, actually. But again, we have to wait and see. We have to wait and see how it how it plays. Sometimes things look, look a little different on paper. Uh, what's the next one? Nourish. Let me let me switch over here as well. Um, nourish. Oh, and and Hell Hades, the top corner of Hell Hades face will be making an appearance because this is where I got my uh, screenshots for them. I'm going to go back and watch because I want to hear his thoughts on these two, but I wanted to grab screenshots and talk about them before I had any input because I want I want to see what my genuine reaction to them was going to be. <laughs> so uh, thanks to Hell Hades for letting me do that in advance. Um, nourish. Increases the value of the heal granted by continuous heals placed by this champion. Uh, each one restores a portion of destroyed max HP as well. So at six stars, it's 30%, which is pretty solid, right? Pretty decent. Kind of, again, kind of a cool blessing. I don't know in its lower levels if it's going to be worth passing on some of the other blessings. But there are a lot of continuous heal champs in the game, so perhaps it'll have its place. I'm just trying to think of a situation, like, like Wither places a lot, for example, but... I feel like I'm not going to take this over something else for her. But again, maybe there's going to be a specific scenario, a specific comp where this will have its place. It's hard to say, hard to say. Uh, next up, what is, what is it? Neutralize, I think, is, is next. And, and this is an epic one. Has a chance to place debuffs on weak hits when attacking enemies under Poison Cloud. This is also kind of interesting. It's very specific to Hydra. <laughs> you would exclusively use this in Hydra. Uh, but it is interesting. I don't know if you can plan around it. I don't I don't know how I don't know how reliable it would be to try to plan around it. Even at six star, the 60% chance, it's a good chance, but it's still hard to plan around it. And I think there's enough options in the game at this point to just block Poison Cloud. But this could be interesting. You have an AOE HP burner, this, and you and you for whatever reason don't have a good block buffs yet. Uh, maybe you're maybe you're onto something here. Maybe, maybe they're onto something here. 
maybe this makes Hydra a little bit more approachable for the people that have an RTAC and don't have a good block buffs champ for Hydra yet. You know what I mean? Like, maybe there's something there to it. Um, won't know till we, till we see it in action, right? What's the next one? Is it Nature's Wrath? Is that the next epic one? I believe. Yeah. Nature's Wrath increases the damage inflicted by this champion for every debuff they successfully placed, except debuffs placed by gear sets. They like excluding a gear set. Um, I assume this means through the course of the whole fight. But it's strange that it's like so minimal. At one star, it's three debuffs, and then it's just an increase. But it does scale up. It's 2% and 2%, but here it's up to 8% total damage, right? Uh, and then up to 15, and then up to 30, which is substantial and this could be really nice on some somebody like my fane for example for my new clan boss team it would make it that much easier to hit the one key uh because she's going to stack this up immediately she drops two debuffs on at least on her a2 and a3 so she would stack her damage she would bump her damage up by 30 percent immediately and over the course of 1500 turns if we're hitting turn limit that's incredibly substantial so i think this is pretty solid i think there's going to be a place for this in the game as well um nature's wrath what's next we've got harmonic impulse is a legendary one fills this champion's turn meter whenever they lose their turn because of fear or true fear also decreases the cooldown of the skill they attempt to use whenever their turn is lost due to a true fear um so basically just a direct counter to fear and true fear and if you have a six star basically cancels it out you get 50 percent of your turn meter back it effectively turns into a less effective stun you know what i mean a, a less effective form of regular crowd control so it's it's sort of a counter to that maybe could be very handy in f faction wars outside of arena of course uh, maybe it could be nice to deal with with the faction wars boss that's constantly placing fears and stuff maybe maybe this makes that a little bit more approachable um so maybe maybe even if you don't want to use it for arena, a temporary use for it could be that, and then you switch the blessing to something else if you don't want to keep using it. I it's fine. Feels but to me personally feels a little underwhelming for a legendary blessing. But we'll see. Maybe maybe it'll play a lot different than than it looks like it'll play. And then the last one, Cracking Roots, pretty straightforward on this one. Just increases the damage inflicted by this champion to Stone Skin HP. And at 6 star, it doubles the damage. I think maybe like twice in my raid career have I been attacked through my Stone Skin. Have I been hit so hard that my Stone Skin went, went away? Like it very, very rarely has ever happened. Um, I think it was like Hefrak and Skull Crown and like some really big hitters that... that dwindled down my stone skin before it went away um I, I don't know i don't know how i feel about this one honestly i don't i don't know that i think it matters and this kind of leads into the, the the issue that i was talking about where plarium has a tendency to fix issues with new stuff or address things with new stuff instead of making adjustments to the currently existing things that's why we get so few balance patches that involve champions because rather than fix the champions that aren't doing the job they should be doing they just add new champions that do the job to kind of keep us on an endless like i need this new thing is is my suspicion uh i don't i don't really know why and this feels kind of like that it feels like they they are wanting to change up the stone skin meta a little bit but i don't know if this is going to be enough and i don't know if i think this is the right way to do it um i also don't know if anybody's going to take this over you know, a higher level polymorph or whatever it is they're 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 using. So it's also potentially a tough situation, to be fair to Plarium. You you can't really change stone skin too drastically because it's been around and so relevant for so long. You have people that have invested so much money and time into stone skin acquisition. You have to be careful about changing it directly. If you add something into the game that makes it irrelevant, well, that's just the evolution of the game. You know, they've got a little bit of an argument there, whereas if they just change something, um, maybe maybe not. You know what I mean? Maybe, 
I'm I'm a little concerned about what they're going to do about Wicks, to be honest. I I don't know if if I think they thought this was going to happen. I don't know if they if if they realize that basically everybody who does the fusion now has a one key Ultra Nightmare Clan boss team. I don't think they intended that. I don't think they ever would have done that intentionally. And it's hard to imagine they're going to leave it that way. But they're going to be really in a hard pl- spot. If they change him. And to be clear, I don't think that they should. I think the game is at a point where this type of stuff is is okay. Like I said, I think we're beyond toxic set should just be 5% poison now. Well, who cares? <laughs> the game's over five years old, man. Let some of this stuff catch up. So I think Wix is fine. I think it's fine that everybody has this. If you decided to do that fusion, you deserve what you got for it. You know what I mean? This is a this is a champ that they let the community build. They presented all the options. The community put it together, and this is what we got. The community nailed it. You know what I mean? So they need to leave it alone. I just don't know if I trust that they're going to. So I think that they know better than to think they can nerf the champion, because that would be wild. But they could make some changes that maybe make this harder to do or impossible, and then they've got a little bit of a defense, maybe in their eyes anyway. I'll know. I think we'll know <laughs> what, what, what's up. But they'll at least think they have a little bit of a defense. So maybe that's their stance. Maybe that's why they why they do this like this. One, it gives you new things to acquire and new things to go after. And 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 also maybe they feel like it, it gives them a little bit of a room to argue back that they're that's just the way that the game evolves. So I don't know. I just would like to see them directly address things more often. I'd like to see more balance patches. I'd like to see more adjustments made to the things in the game that need adjusting. I think stone skin needs adjusting. I think stone skin is so boring. I think it makes arena so uninteresting. Uh, I know a lot of people really hate polymorph. I'm not particularly fond of it either. I think that needs adjusting. Uh, it, polymorph could go, to be honest. Uh, stone skin, I think it's a little harder to to have it go just because it's been a staple for so long and so many people have invested so heavily and acquiring it because of how important it is. I think you got to be real careful. So they're in a tough spot, I guess, but it's self-inflicted. And again, I just want to see them more directly address and fix things in the game that need addressing and fixing. So that's my thoughts on the blessings and kind of the state of things as, as, as far as that particular topic is concerned anyway. I am interested to know what you guys think about the new blessings. Is, does anything jump out at you from these? I mean, I've, I've glanced over them very quickly and had a couple of thoughts, but I imagine there's a lot more to them, probably a lot more possibilities. I'm interested to know what you guys think about them. And, uh, and I, and I guess specifically this, anybody that's like familiar, familiar with arena, like higher level arena and seeing a lot of stone skin, is this going to matter? Is this going to matter or is this, is this not even going to be worth taking over some of the other blessings? I'll be interested in in the the thoughts on that one as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of here again. Big shout out to, um, hell Hades face for being in the video (laughs) and I'll see you guys later.